hello guys welcome back to the channel so in this tutorial we're going to be looking at how to deal with calculated columns in a sql statement so we're going to be looking at calculated columns in sql statement you're going to perform using the different functions we've already looked at like the sum function and the function to calculate uh, to perform calculated columns what's basically a calculated column so a calculated column these are columns are obtained from performing arithmetics or some uh, other operations on already existing columns so for example in this case that uh, we have the our shopping uh, let me just go back into my school you can see we have the um, we have the products table so if i look at the products table we can see we have the products uh, if i scroll up here you can see we have the product quantity in stock and then the price of uh the buy price of each of those products right so you can see we have the quantity in stock and the buy price of each of those products uh, each of those uh products so if you want to see uh like each product how much it costs right for example for this product we want to see how much uh it costs right so we, we take the quantity in stock times the buy price right uh, of each product so that's returned to us the the quantity the the amount of product in stock so how do we go ahead and do that so that's basically a calculated column right? we take the product quantity times the product price and that's going to return to us the the cost of this whole product right and that's basically a calculated column so let's try to go ahead and do that so let me just go ahead and uh I, let me just go ahead and write the code right here so let's go ahead and say select so let me just use uppercase so select and i'm going to go ahead and select the following so i'm going to select uh, all the all the columns and then i'm going to go ahead and have a calculated column right here so let's just first let's just select everything from this table so select everything uh from select all the columns from uh this table is going to be called uh this table is called products table right so the products table so products just like that and if i run this query what you're going to get is just uh, what we got previously from this query as well right so good so once we have this i want to go ahead and add the calculated column and the calculated column is just going to be we're going to take the quantity right the quantity in stock which is just going to be this right here multiplied by the buy price so let's go ahead and do that just take we're going to take quantity so quantity in uh stock we take the quantity in stock multiply this by the buy uh the buy price just like that so once i have this done you can give it a name if you want but let's just run it for now and let's see what we get back if we get back the, the correct result so if i go ahead and scroll to the side now you can see we are we, are, we got the 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 the, the sum right here which is just this value times this because this is the price of one and this uh, quantity in stock we multiply by the quantity in stock we get the total price right good so once we have this and we can give it a name that you want you can call it uh us you can give it a, a name you can call it the product i uh, can call it the product uh so let's call it the product worth okay the, the worth of that product so yeah so once i have it then you can run it again you get back the same result you can see of the product what column right here which is this uh product of this and this column right so that's basically a calculated column Good. So now we can also uh, arrange this in ascending order. We can order this in different ways. So let's go ahead and actually try to arrange this in ascending order. So you can say order, uh, order by, and you can order by the product, the product underscore worth, and you can order it by in descending order. So you can order it in descending order. So if I run the code again, now we should get back the same result. But now we should get back uh, in the, you get should get by the results in a descending order. Basically, we should get back a table ordered in descending order. And you can see that right here. So that's basically what a calculated column is. We just we just perform arithmetic operations on existing columns to get new columns, and those are called calculated columns. Yeah, that's basically it for the calculated columns. So let's see how much uh, we can find the total of all this. We can find the total of this whole column, like the whole the whole worth of the stocks that we have, and we can find out uh, how much each product is contributing to the whole worth of, of the of the of the product in terms of percentage. So how do we do that? So I'm just going to go down here. I'm just going to go ahead and find the sum. So I'm going to say select. And I'm going to go down here and say uh, sum. And I'm going to select the sum of the quantity. So let me just keep this lowercase. I'm going to say uh, quantity. Uh, quantity. Quantity uh, in stock. So I'm going to say quantity in uh, stock. Multiply by the buy price. Just like that. And then finally we can call it. Uh, we can say give it a name as uh, worth just like that so uh we're going to select this uh, it's going to be from the products table so it's going to be the products table product uh, products table so once the, once i have it done i can simply just clear the, this empty line and then run the code again so if i run the code again let's see what we get so we get back a, a, a sum of all uh, of all that value right a sum of all the products that we have we just simply take the quantity in stock minus the buy price and if we add all of it up now we can find the, the the percentage that each product is contributing to that value. So if I run this code again, we should if I run this code, basically what you want to do is take this value uh, times by 100 divided by the this value that we got from down here uh, from this query, 
and then that should give us a percentage of how much this uh this product is contributing this product line is contributing to uh to to, to the to the total products that we have basically the how much vintage cars in this case is contributing to the total product we have right you can also do a group buy and group buy by the classic cars you can see we have classic cars at this repeating so you can do a group buy and then perform that operation but i'm going to keep things simple i'm just going to go ahead and apply that okay so in this case what i'm going to do is uh, let me just run this query again just take a pen and paper and note down this value because we're going to use this value just in a second okay so i'm going to use i'm going to go down here and i'm going to simply let me just go up here and select this right here copy this and i'm just going to go down here and paste it right here good so i want to go ahead and have another column uh this column is going to be the following so we say quantity quantity in stock right quantity in stock multiply by the buy price okay my buy price and i'm going to simply uh, multiply this whole value by 100 so i'm going to multiply this by 100 because we're trying to find the percentage divided by this value that we have right here so i'm going to uh, select that and i'm going to paste it right here so good i have it pasted right there and that should turn to us a percentage so i'm going to call this uh you can say us you can say p uh, percentage just like this and good so now if we run the code now we should get back a percentage like each how much each uh, product line is contributing in terms of percentage percentage as you can see this is contributing in this number of percentage and we have the values going right there so basically that's basically it's what this is how much each uh, product line is contributing to the whole uh, stock value that we have the whole the whole worth of the of the cars that we have right so this is contributing three percent to the whole worth uh, and this is a uh, this is a uh, a product line is called let me just go ahead and see which product line is this this is a product name is honda civic uh the product line is a uh, cars classic cars and you can see all that information so this uh product line is contributing to three percent of the whole stocks that we have of cars so that's basically it uh, uh of how you can how you can do that calculation so let me just zoom out so that you guys can see this much clearer so uh, much clear so that's basically the whole query that we have here now you can see why should you uh one thing you notice is why should you have to manually type in this this is actually bad practice but we haven't reached the point where i want to actually show you how you can do this this is not the best way to do it but i'm just we're just still learning so uh as we go ahead i will show you the best practice to do this this is not the idea this is a, like a very bad practice to do but in the future as we go along i'll show you how you can do this okay so again there are diff different alternatives you can use to solve this you can use uh, sub queries we can use um uh, uh, CTEs and other stuff like that. Don't worry about all this. We'll look at it when you go uh, as we go further into uh, the course. Okay. So uh, you, you can also think. Okay. Why do I, why can't I use this right here? This uh, derived column right here. So you cannot use derived columns instead of your select statement. Basically, to perform calculated columns. Okay. So uh, you, there, there are other ways around it, like using subqueries, CTEs, using views and other stuff like that. But we'll, sh we'll look at all this later on. Uh, for now this is just it and just take it uh, as it is for now we'll look at it uh, in depth as we go along through the course so guys thanks for all uh, this all for this video so thanks for watching uh, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below i'll do my best to get back to you again there's no uh, point of watching this video is if you are not really learning anything and actually practicing so i have a little assignment for you guys to do the solution this assignment is going to be in the link is going to be in the link in the description of the video where you can find a sql file that has a solution to this assignment okay so the assignment is just simply print the total price of uh, each uh, uh each uh, other given the quantity ordered and the price uh, of uh, of each of those vehicles right e of each order in the order list table so that's basically the assignment and the solution to this assignment is going to be in the in the link in the link in the description of the video thanks for watching again uh, you can support the one you can simply support the channel is by liking, liking this video subscribing to the youtube channel and sharing this content with anyone who you think might find it helpful thanks for watching and see you in the next one keep safe